top advice when it comes to trading advice or any type of advice when it comes to the mindset of psychology of trading? Okay. I'll go through uh, a few different uh, things that I, I always preach about to people uh, and it's not always the sexiest thing because anybody can actually learn multiple different strategies there's so many different ways to trade and that's fine uh, and whatever works for you works for you but things that will help accelerate you in life and not only just in trading discipline organization commitment and oh, what was the last one commitment organization discipline Oh, I can't even consistency. Yeah, consistency is there as well, but it's the fact that like, would you be in a better position? Because everyone goes through the same story, right? Where you get involved in it, you think about the money first, you put your grand in, you try flip it, you try to do this, you then fund your second account, you then try to do this. Would you be in a better position today if you had actually stuck to the right processes in the beginning? Mm. And I think that's there's so many things when we actually try learn, we try to skip options like two steps, yeah, and actually end up falling three steps yeah, back and true. say, fuck, I should have just started here that's and true. actually progressing at one is actually yeah, over a period of time because you know, you're still going to be here in six months time mm-hmm. imagine if you did that one percent over the next six months boom, within, yeah. a year, within a year you're now in a position where and, that, you be. and that's and that's very true because I, I was just thinking like looking at my life or just as a, as a kid growing up you know, we do certain things, and then we grow up and like, man, if I would have just took yeah, my time. Taking it differently, a different route, different or just route. changed it. Uh, and that's where it's okay to lose, and it's okay to have those setbacks, but actually doing something about them and right. learning from those mistakes. Because all of us, deep down, know why we lose. Right. right? I, one of my biggest pitfalls is I enter maybe slightly too early, and I still fucking still do it, right? Mm-hmm. Get stopped, and then it runs into my position. But to actually for you to identify things, most people it's over leveraging, adding too many positions, and then the trade pulls back slightly deeper if it then goes, but then you cut out the trade. Um, it's actually identifying them and actually making a conscious decision to say, right, I'm never gonna do that again. I have a consistent month, it takes 21 days to change a habit, right? So, so market bio, the emotional aspects before, during, and yeah. after trade. And that's what I'll have, I have two different journals, uh, especially in the process. I've got Steady Now, which is obviously uh, a back end that I can keep trades on, but. Um, for me, it was more about having a personal journal alongside how I was feeling day by day, kind of emotions of what happened during that day, what went through and where I went, and then obviously a trading journal, the befores, the afters, even videos of you analyzing it. Then you can go back to it and say, actually, right, what did I do wrong in that piece of analysis? Then you can reflect. And often when you speak it into existence, you may reflect on something different. You may have a quick flick on the, take Euro USD right now, right? You just missed the entry, which is annoying. Um, <laughs> But Proctor was speaking. Um, but to identify that and say, right, okay, cool, this was the right thing to do, this was the wrong thing to do. What went on? Boom, my journal will be, I was at an event, so I missed the train. Just, you know, last so last question. Like, How long did it take you to get to your psycho- psychological break? Because I know trading is 10% mindset, uh, 10% skill set yeah. and 90% psychology. I think it got to the point, like, like I said, I lost. I'd build it up over time. Uh, and it was just that conscious decision to say, I'm not going to do that again. And where can I be in a certain amount of time? Having a, actually having a clear, precise goal of what you actually want to achieve from this. Because so many people have a waffle of I want to make money. Mm-hmm. Right? There's no actually con- concise goal of I'm going to make this type of percent over this amount of time and actually having it written down, written out visually, mm-hmm. then you can see that pathway to then go and achieve that. Mm-hmm. We don't always need to know actually the, the pathway to the end goal. But you can see that. Bro,